I I know. I, I'm waiting on this because I already got you the 3DS. I feel like uh, Dad's gonna find out about the 3DS. He definitely is, and I'll take the shit for it. And it'll go like what happened to your old 3DS, and I'm like, it died, it finally died. Yeah. I... <laughs> it'll go, oh shit, it died, and I'm like, yeah. Eh. And that's why I got it for for Zach. Sorry, guys. The reason why I was like stressing out because. I don't want all that fucking money I put into that 3S to just go, go for shit. Bye bye. If I can yeah. get it, if I can get it fixed, I will. I but I just want to be able to get my games. I want to be able to get the games I fucking spent money on because that had puzzles and dragons, all three Legend of the Witch games, all these other stuff. But for now, we'll just use. Well, puzzles and dragons. I could probably get a. Can I get a copy of it, like a physical copy, for puzzles and dragons Mario from Mario Bros. Edition? I don't know I if they. So. I don't think they sell half these games anymore. Yeah, I don't think they do either. And if they do, they're super fucking expensive. Listen, and people go like, "Oh, digital, where we own your games, and we're only allowing you to." Just don't do that. If you fucking do that, you're only gonna piss your fucking audience, and you're just gonna make them fucking not want to buy your games. Yeah. Why? Fucking why? That's not the future. The future of gaming is ass, especially it's, digital it's, it's It's doing the same thing where you buy clothes and then all of a sudden, oh, you don't own those clothes anymore. You like, we only allowed you to borrow them. It's essentially you're renting, but you're also paying for the service. Like, are you fucking serious? That's essentially what you're doing is you're renting the games. They're not yours. What, do they want to bring back fucking Blockbuster? It's essentially renting. There's a reason why Blockbuster went out of business. It's because people wanted the physical games. They're still going to do physical games. I, I, I can't... Like, not, like, doubt that. Oh, can we I, talk, I can want we, to be able to have my games, bitch. Can we talk about the fact that Rebirth almost had three discs? Oh, yeah. Like, Final Fantasy VII, the first remake, the first one, had two discs. The second game was going to have three. So I think they were going to try to fit, like, the final boss. They were going to fit a lot more. The only no, thing... No, they, they were going to do they, the final boss fight on a separate disc. Well, I think they were going to add a little bit more extra content. So so. All they did was from when you get out of the game to literally to like the ending part when you're getting near Sephiroth. That's all they did. Yeah, and then they're going to do the next and one. And I think the third part is literally just going to be Sephiroth. going to the final boss of Sephiroth. And doing some other stuff. Like the and like maybe some Shinra other stuff. Maybe some other side quests. They might add more stuff to that final disc. So I do know Rebirth is going to be a lot bigger, but I don't think they added... I don't know where they stopped, that's the thing. The final boss of Sephiroth, they're going to do that in the third game. Yeah. I knew it was going to be at least three or four games, I, I counted on that. So I have a feeling they're going to add more to the third game. Third disc, yeah. The third part. Third game, yeah. Just to make... Because... Just... Literally, like, all you get is the ending and the Sephiroth fight, but I think they're going to probably but, Zach, more. before the Sephiroth fight, it's, you gotta f destroy, uh, what is it called? The castle. Oh, wait, I forgot. The third part's probably also going to have, like, a, and I'm not trying to spoil, where you have to, like, make Cloud remember, and he has a midlife crisis, and yeah, he's and in then this there's, fucking thing. Then there's also the whole plot point with Kate Sith, and then them escaping prison, and a bunch of other stuff. Which is probably the third game. With, and then there's the whole Shinra shit that you gotta deal with. But they might add more to it, is what I'm saying. I don't know if they added the Red 13 part in the second disc, I don't think. What, like his village? Yeah, I think they did. They, they did. They did, yeah. They did. And apparently, Joe, in the game, when you, you could usually, like, date the girls, you can actually take some uh, guys to the date, too. Like, when you take Kate Sith, you can take Barrett. You can be in a gay relationship with Barrett. 
The bromance. The bromance. People, people are gonna do that for walls. I know they're gonna do it. <laughs> that one guy that wanted it. Yeah. Some of the girls, some of the VTubers, absolutely gonna fucking do uh Barrett or Red Thirteen. They're gonna fucking do it. Bow's gonna do Red Thirteen. Hundred percent. Yeah, the furries. Of course, man. Uh. And yes, Vincent's in the game. They even did the Vincent shit. Uh, oh, that fuck, Yuffie, I'm so glad. K-Sith. I even saw Sid. I'm like... Yeah, they're doing the Sid shit, I too. I thought they were gonna save Sid for the third game. But they somehow squeezed him in. I think that's why they almost needed the third disc, because they were gonna have more stuff. But they somehow did it, and they added the two discs. so much new content. I think they're saving some like of the new, co- content from the second like, disc into the uh, third disc. New side quest stories. Or to the third uh, game. New mini games plus older ones. Yeah, uh, they brought back the whole arcade place. So much more stuff. Uh, more game modes. Uh, and there's literally a thing where, like, in you can decide if Aerith lives or dies. <laughs> what in? This, the second game? Yeah, it literally said the oh, trailer. Yeah, she gets stabbed what, the whatever you do, you can decide whether or not Aerith lives, lives or dies. dies. I think it has to do with the the, the romance shit. That yeah, night. so if you don't romance her, she dies. She if you dies, romance yeah. her, she lives. Yeah. Because in Fire Emblem uh, Birthright, if it, you wanted it, to save a certain character... It's depending on the uh, If you wanted to save the character, options. you had to get a certain like level of rope and... Uh, Friendship or romance with them. Or to certain, uh, situations in, like, Three Hopes to get characters. Like, yeah, be like, for, to get Byleth, you had to do some really convoluted shit. Did we end up getting them, by the way? I did. Oh, that's right. Really it good. was so annoying. It really was. And then I tried the fucking side quests. You know, some of the paralogs and some of that shit it was some of the most hardest things I ever had to fucking do. I had a micromanage three. It I can't literally told you Zach the micromanage does. three fucking characters at once. I can't wait till Zach does One Piece Pirate Warriors because I have number four on my Switch. Can't wait. That game's gonna be sick as fuck for him to do. I was thinking about doing it, but I'm not a Pirate Warriors like. I'm not Pirate Warriors, uh, material made. With me, if you guys want to see it, I can do it, but I guarantee you I won't be good at it. I was not gonna let them win. Let's go. Check match. We'll check this.
we're still on a long fucking way before I get all the weapons before March. Yes, sir. I have like seven more. Alright, next time I'll let's play some tune three, I will try to get more weapon licenses later. I'll see you all again later for more Black Eyes Stay Crispy.